Hello and welcome to another War Fork casting video. We have another Doz versus Salah. We're going to start off with Salah right now. These guys have played a lot of matches on this map. I'm not sure which one this is in the order that they've played it. I've been sent five demos. I'm going to be casting them all. So now we're going to be starting off on Salah. These guys know how to play. The major items are now up. Doz sees that that first one's been taken and heads off. That was the right position for Doz to be in. He was in a closer position. He could run away and go very quickly. Salah unfortunately misses that shot. Hits himself right there with the rocket. These guys are very high level players. An amazing bounce and what an air shot to get the first frag. Salah, I don't think it matters that he just took a rocket to the face. That was an incredible first frag to start off this game. And, well, it's 0-0 zero, zero again. And we're one minute in. We've had two frags. And we're 0-0. Zero, zero. That's how this game works. A great rail there. These guys have been hitting hella rails down that angle. Out of the teleport and straight onto their opponent. They've both got great movement. Both got great aim. And great map sense. This, These guys are... Some of the best games I think I'm going to cast. I really hope to see these guys pick up this game and stick with it. Doz has been playing Warso for a while, so he'll be sticking with it, I'm sure. Salah, I hope he sticks with it. Now, Salah has got the Mega Health. You can tell the timer isn't going down. The timing for the Mega Health is 20 seconds after the person who picked it up drops below 100 health. So... It's not going to be coming back up for a little bit now. Now it will start ticking down with 20 seconds from about there. You have to make your best guess. If you win the fight, you take it about the end of the fight. So both players now, knowing roughly when the items are going to come up. Doz making himself in the lead for this game now. Puts himself in the lead, grabs the red. He's going to be pushing in. Going to have to push heavily. Salah grabs that red. Uh, sorry, the Mega. And manages to take the tie. One health though. These players not getting away with much after each of these fights are not able to do a lot. Dropping down, grabs the red arm and not going to want to push out. An amazing shot with the riot gun. This is one of the best shotguns in Arena FPS. Mostly they're not particularly the best guns in the game, but these riot guns are incredibly powerful. An amazing flick rocket there from Salah. He's pushing Doz quite hard and gets rewarded for it with that frag. Now both players, Doz drops on it, grabs it, but doesn't manage to get the red, uh, doesn't manage to get away with the red. Gets away with a frag though, trading it out, which is the most important thing right now. Look at the speed of Doz as he flew up those stairs, flew over and wanted to just stop. It would, could have carried on at high speed. One second left. He's listening out for that sound. It's quite quiet in this game, the spawning sound of armors and items. But you can hear it if you hear it listening for what you need and you know the timing roughly. You can definitely drop right onto an item by listening for it. But you've got to check your opponent's not just stood right on the item anyway. Because they'll pick it up the second it spawns. Amazing shooting from Salah. He's two to nine in the lead right now, running away with it a little bit, but Anything can happen in the next 6 minutes and 20 seconds. Does an incredibly good player. He won't be panicking right now. These guys both know that this isn't over. You can see Sally's got to push in. In a lot of games, this would be the end of it, but not in Arena FPS. Arena FPS games incredibly fast-paced, incredibly things can change in incredibly short amounts of time. And these guys are not going to let the opponent run away with the game either. So now over five minutes left. And that's the other thing. We're not even halfway into the game. So all Doz has to do is the exact same thing that Salah has done. Now it's a little bit more difficult because obviously Salah has momentum, has map control. Doz has to take that back and then do the same thing. But it's doable. It's definitely doable. Taking map control can mean just one incredible fight, one lapse in judgment from your opponent. And to keep the game honest is one of the most important things in these games. If you can keep the game honest, you can get map control. If you can keep your opponent very low, not allowing them to get away with huge amounts of stack after every fight, 
Right now, Salah is quite pushing into the lead. He makes a spree of 10. But Doz manages to bring him back down. Is this the beginning of the end for Salah? He picks up the Mega. He does. He's going to have to get out of there. Picks up the 75. And he's now making a push. Doz very low. He's going to push in. It's too much. Gets taken down with the riot gun of Salah. 16 to 3 now. Salah is incredibly heavily in the lead. And hopefully Doz is not going to be completely put out of this game. He's still making it interesting though, even if the game goes even more further away from Doz right now. He's made the game interesting, which is always thankful for me as someone who has to cast these things. These games are going to be good. Doz will take what he can. Amazing rockets, both flying over each other's heads. And I've got to go for tea after this one. <laughs> All right, four minutes left in the game. Salah still with control. Does trying to find control. Salah running away a little bit. He knows he's got the time. He knows he's just got to get away. But you can't get it, run away from your opponent in this game. You can't just run away. You've got to keep taking the items. Otherwise, you will just forfeit stack. Your opponent will rush you. You can move so fast in this game. Do so much damage in so little time. Especially to someone with absolutely zero stack. And if you know you've got all the stack, you know your opponent has none of the stack. And you can push very, very hard. Does now. This is definitely him pushing a comeback. You can see Salah before he pushed and pushed and pushed, even when he was in control, even when he had the lead, and he managed to get four kills and then would lose one. Managed to get that spree of ten, and then managed to make it a bit further. But Does now pushing so much harder, and Does has control of the map. That's the other thing now. Does has control. Salah's trying to fall back, trying to get control, but it's a difficult thing to do. Does congrats he's he's reaping the rewards of for staying so perfectly calm throughout this game. He's stayed so perfectly calm and even now he's got so little health, so little armor. He hears that item be picked up, he'll know where Doz is going uh, where Sal is going to be coming from. And neither player particularly wanting to push Doz, knowing he doesn't have the stack, Salah. Knowing that he can't afford to lose this fight, because that would mean losing his stack. So Doz making a lot of chip away plays, just chipping away slowly at Salah. Grab one item, not mega. Going to be very helpful in this fight. He hasn't got a lot of ammo in it, a lot of the guns. And Salah's going to be able to pick up another frag. With two minutes left to go, it looks like it's going to be Salah's game right now. Certainly is enough time if you were incredibly quick, but Salah is not a terrible player. I'm sure these guys could both easily pull this back from me if I were so, so lucky to pull ahead this far in this game. But these guys playing each other, they're so evenly matched. Even in this game where the scoreline has gone one way or the other, it's not massive, massive amounts of control being pushed away from the other player. It's small, little wins. It's winning every fight by 10 health rather than trading every fight. That's the key thing. It's, it's winning every fight and not dying just after. In the other game, you may have seen it. They were trading every fight, coming out of them with 10 health. Look at that, they're both now coming out, and that's what was happening. These players trading, but at one time, Salah was coming out and managing to survive just that little bit longer, managing to get some health, managing to get the next item, and managed to pull away a little bit. And that's, that's the way you win these games. Because an even game, you're always going to come out with the fight. It's all about the tactics. The, the fighting is secondary. But it's always interesting when you get two players that have similar play styles and you see them fight against each other and you see the way that the fights are won. They're won by small victories, by small amounts of health, and they're won by just little pickups. So it looks like the game is definitely going to Salah. That's got to be GG. Does 
well, he's going to get some kills. But I think 9 to 20 is going to be the final scoreline. Congratulations. Salah took it by a massive margin, but he was still close. Does kept him honest there. So, thank you for sending that demo in. Salah has sent in a few demos of him playing at Doza. And if you want to send in some demos, if you've got a good dual demo or TDM or something like that, please send them. Uh, I am MXCam on the Discord, on the Warfork Discord. I don't check it always, so hit me up on Steam. I'm also MXCam or find me in game and tell me to check my Discord. That's where I'm going to find them. Have fun in the game and I hope you get to be at least the level of those two.